two home favourites remained on quarter-final day at the St Petersburg Ladies' Trophy. Local hopes resting on 18-year-old Daria Kasatkina and Anastasia Pavlichenkova. Fifth seed Pavlichenkova would have her work cut out for her against top seed Belinda Bencic. Though the Swiss team was made to work for her victory over Annika Beck on Thursday. She may have plenty of expectation on her shoulders at this tournament, but Bencic stands to gain plenty if she can reach Sunday's final. The 18-year-old sits on the verge of breaking into sports elite, needing two wins to move past Carla Suarez Navarro and into the world number 10 spot for the first time in her career. Standing in her way was a local favourite, and Pavlichenkova got the home crowd on their feet with the opening break of the match. And this is the first break here of the match. Pavlyushenkova leading three games to two. It was the first of six consecutive breaks of serve. Pavlyushenkova crucially holding to force a tiebreaker. And the world number 26 received a helping hand as she claimed the opener. Bencic seemed fired up by the setback. A marathon third game ending in her favour for a 2-1 lead. As Pavlyushenkova faded, Bencic pounced. And she was rewarded with the comfort of a double break advantage. What a get, wasn't it? Well, it happened with the running, though, from Bencic, side to side. There was some late resistance from the Russian, but it proved in vain, and to a third set it went. Game, and second set, Bencic. That proved much of a formality as Bencic finally found her groove. Some precision hitting and brilliant court coverage allowing the Swiss star to take control. The result was never in doubt from there. The world number 11 threw to her second semi-final of the season. I mean, it's, it's uh, much better if you fight through uh, a tough match like this. And yeah, it's, uh, I mean, it takes, it's a bigger achievement if you, if you do this than when you play good and you win. So I'm happy about how I just managed to get through. It was a smooth start to the week for fourth seed Anna Ivanovic, who eased past Russian youngster Margarita Gasparian in the second round. Again, youth clashed with experience this time in the form of another 21-year-old, Katerina Kozlova. Ivanovic wasted no time in asserting her authority, a forceful forehand return setting up the first break of the match. One break point leader for Anna Ivanovic to successfully turn that into the first break, 2-1. And the Serbian took all confidence out of Kozlova's serve to move a double break clear. Pressure is deepened even further right now for the qualifier. A convincing opening set wrapped up in just 24 minutes. Yeah, she takes the first set without breaking sweat at all, Ivanovic. Six games to one, the number four seed takes it. Playing in just her third tour level quarter final, Kozlova's fate looked sealed when she again dropped serve to open the second set. Ivanovic's powerful ground strokes proved too much to handle. Fatigue getting the better of Kozlova as the former French Open champion sealed her first semi-final berth of the season. Well, Ivanovic in straight sets has made it through to her first semi-final appearance of the season. I started well today, I thought, and then in the second set um, she started hitting more aggressive and I thought I stepped back a little bit and my ball started dropping a little bit shorter, so she used that really well, but um, I was really happy at 5 fall I stepped up again and played some good tennis. She'll next meet Roberta Vinci, who was put to the sword by Tamiya Babosh. After going a break down, the Italian recovered to take the opener in a tie-break. Okay. But Babosh learned her lesson in the second, again breaking early and this time holding on to force a decider. Okay. 2015 US Open finalist Vinci had no plans on getting the job done easily, but her composure proved the difference after just over two and a half hours on court. Daria Kasatkina is certainly turning heads in 2016, and she showed just why early on against Dominika Sabolkova. But the Slovakian's more direct approach proved fruitful as she took the first set 6-4. Yeah. Kasatkina again produced some impressive angles in the second set. And held firm to level up the match. The Russian found joy in working her opponent around the court in the decider. Yeah. 
and it was a winning formula as the world number 63 reached a second consecutive tour level semi-final on home soil. So semi-final day will begin with a battle between fourth seed Ivanovic and second seed Vinci, the pair's first meeting since 2013. And for the first time since 2010, two teenagers will clash in a WTA semi-final. 18-year-olds Bencic and Kasatkina set to go head-to-head. -to -head.